Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general um, love and life reading for Capricorn. You can have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Capricorn, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And um, roles can be reversed. And what this means is this could be something that you're doing or you're, or something's going on around you. This could be something that your partner is doing or going on around them. I do feel like this is love, romantic love sp specific though. Okay. So keep that in mind. This can also be something that has happened from the past. This could be something currently going on. And so I've been told my readings can tend to be very future predictive. So let's take a look about how your person feels about you first. How does Capricorn's person feel about them? How do they feel? What, what, okay. They have regrets. Oh yeah. I wish this never happened. So your person is in deep regret, deep, deep, deep regret about something that they did that they wish that they can take back, but they can't take back. What else do they feel? Values. We have, we have too many differences. They regret that you guys have very different values and belief systems. Um, they also they also wish that something didn't happen between the two of you. What else, please? Dishonesty. Yeah. And, and it says, uh, by lying, I ripped us apart. Mm -hmm. So this person that you're dealing with here, um, Capricorn. They regret the fact that, 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 well, one, they lied to you. And two, that you guys have very different values regarding dishonesty. Um, okay, so they regret the values you guys have around dishonesty. Not that they're actually been dishonest with you. But they did lose a good thing with you by lying to you. Okay. Missed opportunity. Um, I didn't act when I should have and holding back, I should have expressed myself better. Yeah. Well, yeah, they should have expressed themselves better, right? By being honest, you know? Yeah. Let's let me give one more, one more, please. Understanding. I see your side of the story. Yeah. Now they see it. Now they have regrets. Now they have regrets after the fact. They could have avoided this whole mess by just being honest, right? You know what I mean? That's what it feels like to me. They could have avoided this by, they have deep, they, man, now they regret lying. I'm assuming that you probably are broke up with this person, left this person, not talking to this person, whatever the case may be, because they're in regret. So if you were wondering if they regretted lying to you or regretted, you know, basically treating you like shit, yes, they do. Yes, they do. But, but they also regret having different values from you about lying. Maybe they didn't consider what they said to you was a lie. Maybe they didn't think that it was lying. I don't really believe that though. I don't, I mean, it's, I guess it's possible, right? I mean, I guess it's possible, but I don't really believe that, believe that. Because it feels like a cop out. It feels, it feels like an excuse to me. But again, I'm not that person, but it feels, it feels like an excuse. You know, what does this, tell me more about these regrets. Or tell me more about this relationship that Capricorn had or yeah, this someone from the past that they can't get over you. They're struggling with getting over you. Yeah, they juggled you with the two of pentacles there. So it's cups reversed with the two of pentacles. They lost you. The Empress reversed. That's you. They lost you. Mm-hmm. They made a they they chose wrong, basically. They regret choosing wrong. Wow. Six of Cups reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Full stop here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. 
we also have Taurus Libra here. We also have more Capricorn and Cancer Pisces uh, Scorpio energy. What is this Two of Pentacles about? Strength card in reverse. They did not ward off temptation. Like they they did not. They um, okay. They took okay. So, all right. That's what I heard. Uh, okay. I just heard this. I didn't really want to say, it, but I'm gonna say it. they took the cowardice way out by cheating, lying, being deceptive. They regret have different differing values than you regarding lying. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. It's very late here where I'm at. Well, it's like two o'clock. I'm trying to get caught up because I took a few days off. You could be done with a Leo too. They regret. This is somebody who can't um, say no to temptation. And because of that, they lost you. Like, I feel like you're really this empress, right? But it's, since it's in reverse, I feel like you kind of took yourself out of that situation, which I'm very proud of you for doing if that's the case because you know your worth, right? They regret. Mm -hmm. They really regret what they did. I feel like it had a lot to do with lying and cheating. Empress reverse. Higher front reverse. Taurus energy. They did not commit to you. And you know what? You dropped them. Now, if you were married to this person, you got divorced. Because, or you're on your way to getting a divorce because this person cheated on you. Cheated on you and lied to you. Very, very much. This is like such a straightforward reading. And it's only like six minutes. It's an extremely straightforward reading. I was like straight to the point, right? So yeah, I mean they do have regrets, but you can you know you can regret in one hand and you know shit in the other. Which one fills up faster? I mean I know that's kind of gross, but it is what it is. What they did was gross, you know. But if you're wondering if they regret it, oh yeah. Anything else for, I almost called you a Libra. Maybe you're done with a Libra or have a Libra in your chart or maybe they do. I don't know. We'll get to that in a second. Um, what else does Capricorn need to know? Diamond ring, true loyalty, love token. Yeah, you might have been married to this person or engaged to them or just very, very committed to them. And now this hasn't happened yet. This might be coming towards you. But this person regrets talk keen eyesight observation and watching yeah you saw this like you you might have caught them in the act or you saw them doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing while being in a connection with you and it revol again revolves around cheating and lying they didn't they didn't turn down temptation when they had the opportunity to do so and either you caught it or you saw it or you found out in some form or fashion or, you know, Capricorn, for some of you, you might have found out that this person was actually married and you didn't know that. Flashlight, yeah, clarity, discovery, investigation. You had keen eyesight here. You caught something and you got full clarity about this. You caught them in a lie. You caught them cheating. You caught, you saw text messages or you caught them in the act or you will. Now, remember, this can definitely be coming towards you in the future. So hopefully I'm wrong, but... Whatever's happened here, you see clearly. You see very you see very clear. You got full clarity here. Okay? Yes, they do have regrets for cheating. Yes, they do have regrets for lying. But you know, you it feels like you decide, yeah, it was a tower moment here with volcano and eruption here. It was a big deal, obviously. Yeah, with the skull as I split the deck here, so the cycle ended. You ended the cycle or you will be ending the cycle because you, you know, you know your worth. You know your worth. Or you did. Either you do or you did. Uh, or you, well, you still do, obviously, but I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Anything else? Tennis ball, competition, games, foolery. Yeah. They regret the foolery. They regret the fuck shit. Mm-hmm. But like I said, it's a little, you know, too bad, too sad, right? 
They might try to butter you up, but it's it's still lies and deception. They may come in to say, I want to clean this up. I want to fix this. I regret this. They do have regrets, yes, but they're still lying. You know what I mean? They're full of regret. Full of it. But they're they're full of regret, but they're also kind of full of it too at the same time. Like they're not being 100% honest with you. Um, still. That's what it feels like. But they do regret it. So if you were wondering that, oh, they do. Big time. Let's see, who are you dealing with? Who is Capricorn dealing with regarding this reading? It could be one of the Aries. A Virgo. A Leo. Yourself or another Capricorn. Or Pisces. Sagittarius, bottom of the deck. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with, we have all the fire signs out. Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart and or in theirs or a combination of the two because we do have all the different placements and zodiac signs in our chart. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's about time for me to go to bed. All right, so this could be first. I guess I'm actually past my bedtime. Um, it could be first, middle, last initial of your name, their name, or anybody else who was involved. It can also be, you know, words. What do you have for Capricorn? Okay, let me sort them out real quick. Osen, or like Olsen or Osen, Osen, I don't know. Not a lot, but let's go. First letter is O, A, O, S, T, E, T, N, and H. Let's see, what guidance do you have, please, for Capricorn? I'm not going to take this into the extended. I feel like it's pretty much cut and dry here. I mean, your emotions aren't going to be. If this hasn't happened yet, this could be on your way, on its way to you. Um, this may not be for everybody, so don't make it fit if it doesn't. If you have no suspicions of your person doing this, they're not giving you any warning signs, and this may not be the reading for you, okay? Or, you know, this could also already have happened, but this could definitely be coming towards you. What else, please? What, what guidance do you have for Capricorn? Um, Carmine Bee Eater. And it says, flourish by asking for the help of the powerful. So you might be talking to an attorney or a judge if, you, if you're married to this person. Or, you know, you may be going to a higher power or you may be talking to friends who, you know, you're asking for support. Guidance. Then you have the rhinoceros hornbill. Perfect trust will be re will be rewarded with its life. Yeah, but you can't really trust this person. I feel like you're trusting like your friends or family at this time. And then you have hanging parrot. Gain knowledge by surrendering to the universe of flow. Like you're surrendering the, the whole situation over to spirit, to the divine, to the universe. And you're getting full clarity here. It's not a pretty picture though. Yeah, bottom of the deck, it says yellow, or excuse me, red and yellow barbet, barbet, and it says harmony returns after wrenching loss. This is going to be very painful if it hasn't happened yet, or it was like exceptionally painful. You know, but, but you also have the ruby throated hummingbird, and it says take courage and the world will reward you with bounty. You're very courageous, right? It's not easy to be strong, but lean on people that you can trust, like family or close friends, you know, for support at this time. And I feel like you will get it. 
but this isn't going to, this wasn't, or this isn't going to be a ver an, an easy situation to navigate. It's going to be, it's going to feel like a loss. Obviously you'll have to do some healing. You'll end up grieving this pro whole process. This, you know, um, you know, when you go through a divorce, it's kind of like a death, you know, it's the death of a relationship. It's the death of a future, you know, um, and it doesn't have to be a divorce. It can be like just a relationship that you were really, at one point, very, very close. It can feel very heart-wrenching. So be gentle with yourself at this time. I would suggest that and really just take care of you. Get back to basics. You know, your, your earth, your earth energy. You're very grounded. But if you, you know, you got to get back to basics. Get back to, you know, just doing the regular everyday stuff, you know. Try to have a little bit of fun in there if you can. But if you don't feel up to it, you don't feel up to it. Honor your feelings. Honor them. You know. What you went through or what you are going through or what you're about to go through isn't. It's not easy. You know. It really isn't. It's not fun. And it's not easy. But I will say this though. I'm not. I'm not trying to hype them up. Mm -mm. And I'm definitely not telling you to go back. Um, by any stretch of the means, what you do though, it is your choice and I'm not here to judge that choice, but if you're wondering, they do regret what they've done, you know, they do, they really do. But as far as it coming back together, let's see, how else do they feel about Capricorn? How else do they feel about Capricorn? overwhelmed the stress from from this is draining me they feel very drained by the situation yeah it sounds like a lot of self-pity they pity themselves for what they did to you they do have regret but they pity themselves for what they did to you so they don't they don't feel sorry for the effect that it's had on you, they regret and feel sorry for the effect that it's had on them. Like they regret what they've done to themselves, but they don't regret how it affected you. That doesn't make sense to me. You know? So what you do with that is your business, honey. You know? Just take care of yourself. It's not going to be an easy. Uh, it's not going to be easy to navigate. Okay. Well, that has been your reading. I hope this helps you. I do have. I am doing another freebie Friday on the 18th of November at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, all the stuff is in the um, community tab, so definitely check that out. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Capricorn. I love you. Take care of yourself. Till next time.